Greetings, brothers and sisters. Today I'll be showing you three basic radionic experiments, which to my utmost surprise manifested in a quick time period. The first experiment merely took a few hours to notice the immediate effects. The second literally took two days, and the final one is already having noticeable effects and is still ongoing. When a magician combines the ancient methods of magic with new forms of metaphysical tech, such as radionic devices, it only amplifies their magic to incredible degrees. This three radionic box device is built by Dr. Mulder, who has built more radionic devices than anyone I am currently aware of. J.S. Garrett and Dr. Mulder collaborated to bring these devices to the modern age magicians, and here are my experiments with this incredible three box system. Check out J.S. Garrett's website for more information. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the first experiment with the Hunter Killer System. And I'm not going to go into it too much here, but I'm going to touch on what I'm doing here. And this is the original purpose for this box. Now, I can see this box being used in multiple, multiple ways. But essentially, this three layered setup here combined will allow the operator or the person behind the machine i suppose to take any spell any curse any magic attack done against them and then will not only dissolve that attack or dissolve that curse or, or spiritual affliction but it will actually send it back to your own target so um, what we're working with here is JS, the first time he ever showed this, and this is what I want to do. I, I want to use sort of the same set that the JS used here. Um, he used Abaddon, and he used Astroludu, and then he used Zuggerum. Okay, and um, basically what's going to happen is you're going to place each of the sigils on the input plates. Okay, and what's going to happen is here, this is going to be the place, the, the, the main box that is taking your own energy, that is locking into your own energy, and is literally, basically connecting to your, the energy within you, or the attack, or the curse, or any witchery down on you, I suppose. Uh, forgive me, uh, <laughs> not long ago I woke up. But this is just an experiment. And this Astraludu, Astraludu is the spirit of perfect protection. But you have Avadon who's a destroyer and who's going to be great to implement into this. Uh, we have Astraludu, uh, the spirit of perfect protection. Uh, he who wields the flaming sword. And then you have Zugaram, the uh, foe who cannot be appeased. Okay. And I've got a simple lancet here. And the reason I've got a lancet is because I'm going to put my own blood on the back, right, but, right, on the back of the sigil. And the reason why we're doing this is because it's not necessarily feeding the spirit on the back of the sigil because it's going to be my own energy. I'm connecting my own unique energy signature to the box. And I'm going to tune into that using the stick plate here and, and the dials, okay? So all the box is turned on. And what I'm going to do is, before we begin... Is I'm actually just going to open each of the sigils before me. So let's begin with Abaddon. Okay, simple scrying into the sigil, activating it. And I'm going to use a sort of little incantation or conjuration. <sighs> Abaddon. I call you forth, Abaddon, Angel of the Abyss, Dark Lord of Destruction, Abaddon, Angel of Death, the blackest plague that rips apart realities, Abaddon, the Infernal Destroyer, I call you forth and I give you this call to come. Come, Abaddon, come. 
Come, Abaddon, come. Come, Abaddon, come. Abaddon. As I'm doing this, and the sigils opened, I'm just focusing on my intention. And now I'm going to flip that over. I'm going to put a bit of blood here. I'm only going to put a few droplets, nothing too much, okay? I'm not going to go crazy on this. Just a couple of droplets. And you're going to want to put the sigil face down. Okay? And as I put the sigil face down, as such, I'm going to start tuning in my intention using the stick plate here. I'm focusing on my intention for Abaddon to lock into the energy. Abaddon destroyer to lock into that energy. Okay, and I feel that little grab as I move my thumb across the stick plate. Okay, so again on the next time. Right there. Right there. Okay, right there. Right there. I'll drop quick. Okay. And what what this is doing is it's actually tuning the dials and tuning everything to my specific intention and desire. Okay, and now that box is set up. I'm not gonna take Astro Ludu. Okay. Astro Ludu is gonna be the hunter. So where Abaddon locks on to the energy, what's going to happen is Astro Ludu is then gonna follow that. And, and trace the origin of that. I'm going to open this too. Astro Ludu. Come. Astro Ludu, I call you forth. And come. He who gives perfect protection. He who teaches the ways of invincibility, he who makes men and even the gods impenetrable, Astro Ludu, wielder of the flaming sword, I give you this call to come. Astro Ludu, come. Astro Ludu, come. Astro Ludu, come. Astro Okay, I'm gonna place this here. Now you, now in in the in the video that I watched, you know, you don't necessarily have to open these sigils. However, I am because I wanna reap the the best effect here. Focusing on my intention. Okay, and I saw right there. I stop right there. I stop right 
Keeping the intention burning in my mind's eye. Not only is this syncing up to the desire and the intention, but it's also syncing up to the energy and the input plate. Okay, and you can feel that little grab. That's what I mean. It feels like you can't move your thumb anymore. Almost like a electrical static point where your thumb just says, no, I'm staying here. I'm staying here. Okay. Zugurim. Zugurim. Or however you want to pronounce it. Pronunciations aren't all that important. Trust me. The names are mostly for us. Zugarum, fearsome spirit. I call you forth to come. Zugarum, the foe who cannot be appeased. I give you this call to come now. Zugarum, come. Zugarum, come. Zugarum, come. Zugurum. 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 And now that sigil's opened. Like I said, you don't have to open these sigils necessarily. I'm doing it because I want to get the most out of it. And I'm even calling and pulling forth the energy through the sigil by using the incantation. Okay, just trying to make sure I think it's not sticking to anything. Focusing on my intention. Zugarum and his task and what his job is. Okay, I'll stop right there. Okay. For once Astro Ludu hands down the energy, Zugarum will be the one who slays the source of any magic done against me. Okay. No magic that's necessarily done for you, for your beneficial needs, or any rituals you may have hired from, you know, ritual magicians like myself, but from essentially somebody who's trying to attack you, somebody who's trying to harm you. And this is very easy. Very, very easy. Okay. And what I'm going to do, essentially, this is done. This is already done. However, I'm going to sit with it for a while and just, just focus my intention. I'm just going to look at each box before I walk away from it all. You know, I'm going to look at this one right here. Sigil of Abaddon there. My blood on there. Abaddon with me there connecting to my energy connecting to my essence connecting to my spirit connecting to me as the individual and sensing any negative attack curse or dangerous spiritual affliction astraludu 
not only protecting me, but literally almost as if the information has been passed on to Asar Ludu. Asar Ludu is then hunting down, searching for the source of that energy, for the source of this baneful attack. And once he finds it, is this box right here, this spirit right here, Zagurum, that then will attack and slay, and in many instances, even kill the, the original caster of that curse. That simple, that easy. And I'm going to leave the boxes run for a few days and then report back on it. So, uh, yeah, easy, quick, efficient. Greetings, brothers and sisters. So, second experiment, second experiment. So, here we got some words written out success, money, wealth, prosperity, and abundance. This is all for wealth, this is all for money. To be honest, I don't really need it at all. Um, however, you know, this is for the sake of the experiment. And who doesn't like more money, huh? Why not? Why not? So let's give this a shot. So written words as affirmations. I'm going to place that on here. And then we're actually going to use physical currency. Everything has an energy. Any, everything has an energy. Even physical money itself. And that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to... On the first box, tune into the energy that are behind those words and tune into the energy of the physical currency on top of it. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to place that on top here, the folded note, a few coins with those words. Very basic, very simple. I'm trying to keep this as simplistic as I can. I don't want this to be too ritualized. These boxes, you know, they're supposed to ease the magician. So I've got here the sigil of Bune, and I've already activated this, okay? And I've already opened it, I've already spoke my decree, and here I've got Bune's Wealth Elixir, okay? I'm going to add a few drops of that behind the sigil. And for those of you that are wondering how you make this oil, I've actually got this on my tutorials. I show you how to make this oil perfect for money magic. So that's what I'm going to do. Add a few drops to that. Yeah, I think that'll do. That'll do. I'm gonna keep this very, very basic. Very, very basic. Okay. And sure, I've got a great magic square that I've used plenty of times to help manifest money rather quickly. And I'm going to put this on here. Okay. Make sure all this is dialed back. <laughs> you tell this is an experiment. Okay, so taking the magic square. And I'm going to, this is the only thing I haven't activated. This is the only thing I haven't opened. Okay. I'm going to open this now. Gazing into it, scrying into it. And as I do this, the, some words will disappear and some words will reappear. And I'll then speak those words out loud. Secor Amor Secor Equamo Secor And I'm visualizing my intention. That's what I'm going to mostly do here. Visualize the intention, what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to achieve. And just focus that upon the sigil. Focus that and harness that upon the sigil. Upon, sorry, the, the, the square. I'm so, I'm trancing out a little here, so uh, forgive me. I misspoke. And simple as that. Now on top of that, we've got a few roots here, a few herbs. We're going to start with violet. And violet is great for luck and it's great for 
Oh, for money. I've used violet quite a lot. I'm going to take just a pinch of this. I'm going to add it to the back of this. Okay. And all of my herbs here, all of my roots, I've already activated each and every one of them. Just going to add, that's enough, just a, just a tiny sprinkle of it. I'm going to go over there with my hand, focusing on the energy. Creature of Earth, Spirit of Violet, I activate these powers within you now, and I activate your dormant potential within you, eternal. Come alive now, come alive now, come alive now. Okay, I'm going to do this with some Iris Moss. Iris Moss is also great for luck and is great for money. I'm going to take a little sprinkle of this here, too. See, what, what I'm doing, this is all an experiment. There is no right or wrong way with radionics, and that's why I love it. I do. It, it sort of is relaxing, you know? Um, it's different than the ritual setting, and it's not so energetically exhausted. I'm going to do the same thing here. Get in touch with the energy. And these are already activated, I'm just doing it to Creature of Earth, Spirit of Irish Moss, I activate you now, I activate the dormant potential and power within you to perform your function within you, I activate you, Spirit of Irish Moss, awaken now, come alive now, come alive now, come alive now. And then we're going to use Cascara Sagrada, okay? Great for money, great for money workings, okay? So I'm going to add a thimble of this. And what we're doing here is as we're activating each of these herbs, we're getting in touch with the energy that's great and, and the energy that are contained within it, the, its own unique energy that brings forth wealth, that brings forth abundance. Okay? And this is very, very basic. There are no candles, there's no petition, there's no jar spell. I'm trying to keep this as basic as I can to see the potency behind the machine itself. I don't want to put too much potency into the actual implements on top of it because otherwise I can chalk it all up to the actual power that I put into the ingredients. So, yeah. Creature of Earth, Cascade. I activate you, I activate the potential and power within you now to perform your function within you eternal. Come alive now, come alive now, come alive now. I wasn't gonna add all of these in, all of these on, but why not? Let's go for it. All these ones that, that I grabbed are great for money. Take a bit of this. And this is Calamus Root, okay? And I'm just going to add tiny pieces. Okay. Creature of Earth. Spirit. Calamus Root. I activate you now. I activate the dormant potential within you now. And I activate your power and the function to perform within you. Eternal. Come alive now. Come alive now. Come alive now. Okay, and now we're gonna go with that gallon gal root, which is great for money. Great for these type of workings. Really good, this stuff actually. These smell beautiful, they do smell great. My hand over that. Creature of Earth. Galangal root spirit of the root I activate you now. I activate the power within you. I activate your dormant potential, perform your function within you, eternal.
Come alive now. Come alive now. Come alive now. And why not? Uh, let's go with the last one, shall we? We'll add a bit of alfalfa to this. Okay. And this is great because there's no, like I said, there's no candles, there's no consecration of, of too many implements. You know, I'm not sitting here staring into a candle flame. I'm not summoning forth an entity. See, I, I can do that, most definitely, on, on these devices, 100%. And yes, it will be extremely potent and it will boost the working most definitely. You can do your rituals as you normally would, but just on here to up the ante, you know, to up the, the potency. I'm not doing that. I want to test first the power behind the machine itself, not just the power combined with my own magic, but how much the machine can do with very little, you know, and I haven't provided the machine with all that much. Written words of affirmations, the physical currency, the the actual Boone oil on Boone sigil, that uh, magic square there with the roots and herbs on there. Okay, and Violet is great for luck. So I'm going to use that for luck. Creature of Earth, Spirit of Violet. I activate your power within you now. I activate the dome one potential within you now. I activate the spirit within you and the function and perform within you eternally. Come alive now. Come alive now. Come alive now. You know, right now I could start uttering, you know, magical incantations. And I'm going to set the, the box now, okay? And I'm just going to tune this in, you know, with a stick plate. I could focus on, I'm going to focus on the intention as I'm doing this, and I'm going to talk simultaneously. You know, I could begin uttering incantations, which I've used for magic to do with abundance and prosperity and money. But like I said, I want to see the potency of this technology in and of itself. You know, I'm going to provide this machine with as little as I need. I'm going to be dialing this in. And many people say you should tune in the dials beforehand. And some people say, no, I tune in the dials after. Actually, from the various forums that I've looked on, everyone does it differently. There are a few people that are dead against setting it first. They're like, no, you need to put the objects on there to sync up the vibrations to the intent or whatever to match that vibration. And some people say something completely different. However, if it works for them, it works for them. There's not a rule book with any of this. It's experimentation. As I'm doing this, I'm actually visualizing, you know, a nice desired outcome. Honesting my intention. If I had that extra money come through, what would I do with it? I don't know. Well, I'm visualizing that, feeling that. Not just getting the money, you know, not just getting that. What would I do with it? How would it make me feel the success of this experiment too, you know? And how would it feel to have that? I'm not going to get into the specifics. I'm not going to get into... How does the money come about? No, no, no. I'm just going to get into having it. I'm just going to take just one of my hairs. And the reason why is because it's a few uh, little thin strands of my hair there. The reason why is because everyone says something different. Last time I used blood, they were great. You know? Somebody said, oh, I use hair. So I'm going to give that a shot. I'm going to give that a shot. Essentially, putting that on here means you're just connecting with the energy of it. Just connecting with your energy. The box is syncing up to the energy of everything that's on here. 
Does it matter about me ordering it last? Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And it's as simple as that, guys. As simple as that. And I'm going to leave that run for a couple of days or a couple hours. Who knows? We'll see. Greetings. Now, I'm really stepping up the experimentation here. So let me show you what we've got right here, shall we? So this is a healing experiment. On the first box, we have the photograph of the target. This subject I will be healing of a physical injury, a physical ailment, which has persisted them for quite a few years now. Upon the plate is their image. The very first thing is their photograph. Upon that is a sigillic gateway which has been opened with healing oils anointed onto it, funneling those energies into the target. On the back is their birth date, as well as their handwritten signature that they wrote themselves, their name when they were born, and their married name. On a second piece of paper, it has actually been stained both sides in their own blood. And upon this is also their written name, both their born name and their married name and their date of birth. And on top of that is the actual hair of the target itself, their actual DNA. Combined, this creates a very potent and a very, very powerful fetish energetic link to the target. Using various methods, each thing was activated before placing them on. On the second box, are the sigils of two spirits, one angelic, the other demonic. It is the sigil of Marbas, a demon well known to cause a variety of diseases and ailments within the physical body, but he is also able to reverse those ailments and heal those ailments. The angel sigil is that of Raphael, the divine physician, also known as the spiritual surgeon an angelic healer. Demonic energy and infernal energy work extremely well together when presented in such a manner. Each one has been opened, each one has been activated, and each spirit called during the tuning process, both agreeing to set out upon the healing task. On the third box, we have an actual candle this candle is black. The reason it is black and not white or any other color is because black is known to pull in energy. And that is the role of this candle. It is pulling in cosmic and universal energy and it is funneling that towards the goal. Not only this, but the candle has been anointed in various oils and is actually, as you can see, covered in various, various different types of herbs and roots. Each herb and each root has also been anointed, fumigated, and activated using incantations, energy work, and a variety of other methods. The herbs then are using the earth energy, the energy within the plant kingdom itself, to call on their variety of healing powers and abilities, and to pull that into the candle. Also, utilizing consecration oil and a consecration ritual and these herbs, the candle has been anointed and has been consecrated to become a lamp of healing, a magical lamp of healing. Underneath the actual candle holder is a plan, my, my apologies, underneath the actual candle holder is one of Abramelin's squares to actual heal sickness and ailments of the body, heart, and mind. The square was activated and the entities slash forces that are contained within the square have been called upon, have been communed with, and they have agreed to release their energy and employ their power to the healing process. The boxes were then tuned in, focusing on the intention. This is stepping it up just a little compared to what we normally done last time. 
we will be progressing more so and more so with these experiments. I am now vowing that I will not release any of these videos or any of these experiments unless they